What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today we're taking a look at another knife unboxing. This one is a pretty tiny box here, so what could it possibly be? I don't know. Uh, you probably have an idea from the title and thumbnail. Just know that going into it, I'm really not all that sure what's in here. I do know it's coming from Rob's Nerdy Knives. So check out Rob's channel if you aren't already subscribed to him. Doing the honors today, we have the Benchmade Full Immunity. I just unboxed this knife here in the channel. This is a small factor EDC knife, M4 steel on that Warren Cliff Sheep's Foot modified blade. And this knife and any other knife that you see in this video will be linked down below so you can check more details. It does help out the channel if you do end up purchasing a knife through those links, but that's entirely up to you and also at no extra cost to you. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and start by making a cut somewhere. There we go, we're opening it upside down. <laughs> and here we are, just like I predicted, we have a knife here from Rob Snorty Knife. Give him a sub, he also makes awesome, great EDC content. We have an American Blade Works, American Blade Works, and that is everything in the box, by the way. An American Blade Works knife that we're gonna be checking out here. We already looked at the Model 1, so I wonder what model this one is, okay? Uh, let's make a little bit of room here so the camera can focus real nice. Let me go ahead and open the zipper pouch here. And man, oh man, check this thing out. <laughs> Holy smokes, I was looking forward to this. I really was looking forward to this. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the American Blade Works. I believe this one is the Model 2. The Model 2, and this thing is in full titanium. And uh, man, oh man, the, right away the impression is like, I've seen this thing in pictures. I, I have, obviously, uh, you know, many, many times by now. But it's just something about holding it in your hand that just feels like a nice piece of a tool right there. A nice and premium stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and and really get a look at this thing here, shall we? So I just confirmed this one, yes, comes in to me via the Lefty EDC knife pass around, shout out to Kevin. And I just recently had the Model 1 here in the channel, if you haven't seen the unboxing on the Model 1, I also have a review on that one coming up as well. And I wish I had him right here in my hand to compare him side by side, but I obviously had to send that forward to the next YouTuber that was gonna be checking that one out. Uh, I believe that was uh, JD for EDC's knife, as a matter of fact. But man, having the Model 2 in hand, this one is full titanium going on all around right let's see here we have no steel right, stainless steel no oh, the liners are strong all right is it is it titanium i want to say it is titanium it's just that we do have steel liners on the inside so i do feel a bit of a pull here from the inside steel liners the pocket clip is titanium right there made in the good old us of a that is uh, one guy in his shop cranking out as many knives as he possibly can that is my understanding of american blade works and uh, yeah we had a good, really good time with the model one and now we have the model two. First things first the milling on the scales here feels really premium right it feels really nice i love a pattern handle if it's lines squares design whatever it is Give me some milling right i am a sucker for some milling and i really like this one here makes a good first impression right here very nice crown back spacer going on right there towards the back and i know what you guys are ready for and so am i so let's just go ahead and get this thing here open shall we boom <laughs> check this thing out we have a warren cliff sheep's foot blade going on let's give it a nice little wipe of course let's see just get nice and clean and beautiful for you guys to take it all in. Check this thing out. Holy smokes. Of course, we have MagnaCut steel going on on this one, just like we did with the Model 1. And uh, a flat grind. This certainly looks like a flat grind going on here. And man, oh man, do I... If you guys know anything about me, right? If you've been watching the channel for some time now, you know I am a sucker for one cliff and sheep, sheep's foot blades. And this is my wheelhouse right here. This is the kind of knife that I love to EDC that I love to carry we have a liner lock on this one with some jimping right liner lock just like the previous model one that we looked at it is nice and aligned right there check out the alignment it looks smack in the middle to me you guys be the judge and we'd have a flipper tab so definitely can you know flip this thing open pretty good do we have any other deployment options so very similar to the model one and i'm not sure why 
Um, they designed these knives without thumb studs. Right? I'm not sure if they're purposefully aiming for that or doing it that way for a reason. I mean, I, I would love me some thumb studs here for some additional deployment options to be able to deploy with my thumb. Maybe a reverse flick right here with a thumb stud would have been nice, but uh, it seems like the flipper here, just like on the Model 1, is your only deployment option. And that flipper fires really, really good. I want to say, can I fill it? All right, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm putting just a tad bit. I guess you could. If you really try to fill it, you could. But in any other scenario, you know, you just put any amount of pressure or effort into it, and you're going to get it fired. You're going to get it to deploy every single time, okay? Uh, access to the liner lock right there is pretty good just has some jimping going on there so i'll just have to test that over a period of time there while carrying it to see so far it seems pretty easy to push that liner out of the way that jimping hops a bit right all right we'll see we'll see how that how that carries over time ergonomically speaking it feels pretty good right i'm getting a good hammer grip on it here it feels nice the pocket clip is just a straight line and it has some contouring all around so you barely feel it you don't really feel it as much if at all the handles also are nice and chamfered all around contoured everywhere uh which is nice uh this knife kind of gives me like a like a diners i don't know like Mel's diners <laughs> sort of aesthetics you know uh who was it uh everyday city carry said you know this knife has sort of like the 50s vibes or something like that and i can see it i truly can see it because i don't know it's just something about you know the uh lines pattern i guess with the shine from the silver you know uh, titanium handles here the way they finish the titanium it looks very very interesting we have a captive pivot on this side we have big hardware that looks like a t10 at least right over here and um yeah so far so good love the jimping right here on the back of the blade right which is also uh on the scales as well right like how they doubled up right there pretty good you can sort of forward choke also if you wanted to right you have a little bit of room there as for, you know sort of like a finger choil in a way if you wanted to you can get some precise cuts right here this blade right here is going to put in some work right that is perfect for utility cuts draw cuts everything like that you could do a little pinch right here if you wanted to get more precise cutting work done right and just off you know overall just a very you know really good looking blade really good looking knife right here so holy smokes uh, i'm in for a treat with this one for sure had a good time with the last one this one is in titanium also my wheelhouse got the blade shape that i love so 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 much so let's do some size comparisons here just to give you a ballpark where this one lands here's the pm2 okay the pair of three so the model two is a little bit bigger than the pair of three and a little bit shorter than the model the pm2 and you guys be the judge right there what about the Demco 80 20.5 and the 20 CV shark's foot blade right there with the titanium handles? Here's the slicer shark cup with the aluminum handles, also 20 CV. The Model 2 here from American Blade Works is uh, actually probably about half an inch, quarter inch on each end here, bigger than the regular 8020.5, obviously bigger than the shark cup right there, also a longer cutting edge. Here's the Rap Model 1 right it's one of the longest knives that we feature here in the channel here's the rot model 2 and uh yeah it's a bigger than the rot model 2 right smaller than the rot model 1 right somewhere in that medium to large right kind of in the medium ca category getting into large right if anything check this out here the cjrb pyrite alt and the raccoon all right so we have the Vasti Raccoon here, uh, you know, it's still a little bit shorter. The CJRB Pyrite also a tad bit shorter than the Model 2, All right? And again, this is just to give you a ballpark idea for size comparisons, right? Just for you to know where this guy lands. But man, I mean, I gotta say, you know, it, it doesn't feel all that heavy for being, you know, all, you know, metal if you will no carbon fiber or anything like that it feels you know decently light i guess for the size and the materials and i can already get imagine doing some cuts with this thing so let's just do a very scientific cutting test here shall we i got some regular notebook paper let's just see how it does <laughs> this thing is doing swirls with that magna cut blade right there let's just get some slices done yes that is what I'm talking about. I love me a nice crispy edge. And keep in mind, this thing has been seeing some use from the pass around. So it's not like this is a brand new edge out of the box or anything like that. 
it is getting some good cuts with no issues check that out so yeah we know obviously it can do paper what about some cardboard so today's cardboard special is a double wall cardboard right here right this one's from the christmas tree box and again double wall is a little bit more challenging for any knife than a single wall cardboard but this is the one that i have laying around remember when cutting cardboard don't cut perpendicular but rather at an angle like this and your cuts will look something like this wow <laughs> already that is effortless you guys if i wanted to pick up the pace a little bit all right i found out what's going on with this cardboard i had to if i do the cuts too fast i tend to get the cardboard inside to sort of you know uh, smush all together or what have you but if i go slow and i can because this thing is just that sharp then i can get some nice clean cuts all the way through and through Boom, check it out. <laughs> that cardboard was no issue at all. This thing destroyed that cardboard. Go ahead and rate it in the comments, right? How sharp is this guy on a scale from one through 10? How much of an edge it has retained? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, certainly a performer. And this thing feels really, really sharp. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the American Blade Works Model 2, Model 2. And uh, yeah, making a great impression, first impression right here on the channel. You guys know by now how the drill goes. I, you know, unbox the knife here in the channel like I just did. And I get to carry it for some time before coming back to you with a comprehensive review. So obviously this was just an unboxing and first impressions. I will be carrying this knife. I will be obviously gathering as much feedback as I possibly can. And you'll see a review on this guy here in the channel in the very near future future so if you enjoy knife content like this on a daily basis guys a subscribe will be really appreciated i promise you it'll be worth coming back for more go ahead and smash that like button also if you haven't already uh, it does help the video reach a larger audience it helps it get promoted with the youtube algorithm check out the unboxing on the full immunity from benchmade this uh, access lock small factor edc knife right here also you know slightly similar blade shape so i'll put a card for the unboxing on this knife right here for you guys to check that one out next love you guys i really appreciate all of your love and support it really means a ton to me hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll be seeing you on the next one peace